Fourth down for Covenant Christian. Fourth down and 12 at the Eagle. 47-yard line, first possession of the game, 9-19. Clock running here in the first quarter. They'll have to punt it away. Good snap. Kick is away. A good high, booming kick. That's going to go over the head of Tate Fontenot. It'll hit at the one. It'll back up. How about that? It hit right at the one-yard line, backed up to the four-yard line. They'll tap it down. Eagles will come out on offense for the first time. We welcome you to 2023 high school football here on KBZE tonight. Central Catholic Eagles take on the Covenant Christian Lions in the district opener for both teams. Tonight's game is being brought to you by St. Mary Parish Assessor Jared Longman, the crew at Vita Paint and Supply, St. Mary Sheriff, Chief Deputy Gary Driscoll, candidate for the St. Mary Parish Sheriff. We'll get the rest of our sponsors after this. Eagles have it at the four-yard line. Benjamin Case is the quarterback. Cash Baker lines up to the right. Tate Fontenot is in the wing position. Here's an inside give to Baker. Baker looking for some room. Breaks a tackle. Gets out over the 12 to about the 13. Pick up of about four on the play. It'll be second down and about six. Covenant Christian got a first down on their first drive, but they had to punt it away, and now the Eagles will have it first and ten. We're at Gidry Field on the campus of Nickel State University. That's where Covenant Christian plays their home games on the turf tonight. Manning Field, of course, the site of so many great Colonel football games. And tonight we should have another good one. Baker goes in motion. Case back to pass. Got some time. Slant route complete. That's Tylen Hollis. He has it at the 25. Breaks a tackle up to the 30. That's going to be a first down. Hollins coming from the left side on the slant route. Case hit him in stride. The speedy wide receiver gets out to the 30, and the Eagles have it first and 10 at that spot. Up front, number 51, that is Landon Billot. Number 55, Evan Piku. 64, that's Aiden Garcia. First and 10, Eagles. Three receivers bunched to the left. Case calls for the football inside to Baker. Again, bounces outside. Can't break the tackle. He's going to be dropped for about a five-yard loss. Also along that line, number 57, that is Ryan Bennett. And number 53, that is Drake Terrio. As we said, Case, the quarterback, on the outside. You got Gavin Ramagas, Drake Rock. Now Tate Fontenot and Tylen Hollins. You also see Jack Leapery out there a lot as well. <clears throat> Second down and 14. Case, quick pass out in the flat. That's complete to Fontenot. He makes a move. He gets to the outside. Bumped out of bounds. Excuse me, that was number three. That was Landon Ramagas. He'll get up to about the 36. Now it'll set up third down and four. Just a quick pass out to the slot receiver. And now the Eagles have a makeable first down. Two back set behind Case in the shotgun. Long snap count. Now he'll look to the sideline. Case will give it to Fontenot, trying to get to the outside. He can't. He'll be taken down for a loss. So it'll be fourth down. It looks like the Eagles are sending their punt unit. See who's doing the punting tonight. That is Leapery, Jack Leapery, number 12. He'll kick it from his 20. No outside of bounds. In Covenant territory at about the 43, and that's where the Lions will take it first and 10. The rest of our sponsors vote Angelina Swords Bricotta, number 106, the next St. Mary Parish Councilman at Large for District 8, Thibodeau Regional Health System. A.J. Doman Chevrolet, A.J. Doman Chrysler, the law firm of Ramsey, Scowls, and Striva, 
Paul LaGrange, candidate for the State Senator District 21 on October 14th. Vote number 56, Bo LaGrange for State Senate. Taco Bell in Morgan City and Bayou Vista. Bayou Bend Health System. Tech Action Clinic in Morgan City and Pierport. The committee to elect Robert Allen as the next senator for District 21. And the committee to re-elect State Representative Vinnie St. Blanc, number 81, representing Stevensville and Morgan City. First and 10 Lions. Here's a snap. Inside give. That goes to Landon Winslow. He's taken down after a short gain. Maybe got one. Quarterback is Kyler Robichaux, the senior, number eight. Covenant, we told you, comes in two and one. Their last game, they suffered their first defeat to Morgan City last week, 31-23. Central Catholic, one and two. They got beat by Riverside, 43 to nothing. And now we have a hydration timeout with 5.58 to go. St. Mary Parish Assessor Jared Lohman is a proud sponsor of high school sports. Bad credit, slow credit, no credit, new credit, bankruptcy, repossession, or foreclosure. Whatever your situation is, Harley at A.J. Doman Chevrolet is ready to help you. Visit A.J. Doman Chevrolet in Berwick and tell him you heard this commercial from KBZE. 800 Robinson Street in Berwick. Call 985-221-4139. Call Harley at A.J. Doman Chevrolet, 985-221-4139. And Taco Bell's rolled chicken tacos are full of shredded marinade all-white meat chicken. The best part, they come with three amazing dipping sauces to choose from. Spicy ranch, warm nacho cheese sauce, and house-made guacamole. Order rolled chicken tacos on the Taco Bell app. Get one Dip per two-pack, two dips for four-pack at participating Taco Bell stores for a limited time only while supplies last. And Mr. Castay recommends them. He recommended them. Second down and nine for Covenant. Robichaux in the shotgun. He gets a snap, fakes the handoff, looking to pass, throws it out there. It's complete in the flats. He'll be bumped down. On the tackle was number one. That's Tate Fontenot. It was a swing pass to the wing back that was Preston, or excuse me, Peyton Trosclair. He picked up about four to be third down and five. Ball resting at the Covenant Christian 48 yard line. No score. 5.33 to go here, first quarter. District opener for both teams. These teams have played four years since Covenant Christian joined the district. In 19, it was Central Catholic 48 to nothing. In 2020, 41 to six Central Catholic. In 2021, the Eagles won at 21-19, and last year, Central Catholic 48, Covenant Christian 12. Trosclair rolls left side, still rolling, looking, throws it out there. It's complete. That's number two, Bailey Steams, the junior wide receiver. And he's going to get the first down. Second time, they've hit him on a third down, and he has converted. And that ball will go into Eagle territory at the 43. So Robichaux rolling to the left, hits Steams, and now it's first and 10. Covenant Christian back on the ball. Long snap count, Eagles jump off sides. Eagle lineman jump, and that'll give them five free yards, and it'll be first down and five. Tonight's other games in the parish, Berwick is at north side. Panthers one and two. Generette is at Centerville. That's the district opener. The Bulldogs three and oh. Franklin visits Central Lafouche. Franklin is 1-2. and two. Highland is at Hanson in a district game. Hanson, 3-0. and oh. Morgan City is at Ellender, district opener. Morgan City, 2-1. and one. Patterson at Chalmette. The Jacks are 1-2. And, and St. John visits West St. Mary. The Wolfpack, 0-3. Oh Robichaux back, looks, throws it deep down the left side. Stands behind the defense, and he hauls it in. That's going to be a touchdown. Robichaux to Steams, and that's a 38-yard touchdown strike. And Covenant Christians on the board, 4.30 to go here in the first quarter. So that combination has clicked a couple times. Robichaux to Steens. And we'll have the PAT try right here. Trying to run a lineman on late. Oh, 
Hold is down. The kick is up, and it's good. 4.30 to go here. First quarter. The Lions strike first. They lead it 7 to nothing. Vote Angelina Swords Bracada 106, the next St. Mary Parish Councilman at Large for District 8. The committed to reelect State Representative Vinnie St. Paul, number 81, representing Stevensville and Morgan City. Vote Robert Allen, your next State Senator for District 21. He's number 55 on your ballot. And we're moving forward together at Bayou Bend Health System for all of St. Mary Parish, and we remain committed to enhance patient safety and care. The Bayou Bend Health System is a joint commission accredited. It's a badge of honor that we wear proudly, and we hope this symbol provides our community with a level of confidence in our dedication to quality health care, and we thank our loyal patrons for your continued support of Bayou Bend Health System. So Covenant Christian, 38-yard touchdown strike. Robichaud to Steams, and they're on the board, 7 nothing. And they'll kick it away. It'll be number 10. That's Carson Bear. Back deep, Cash Baker and Tate Fontenot. Fontenot, very good on the return game. He had some nice returns last week. So Bear will put it in play. Here's a kick, a high, short kick. One of the up men will field it. He has it. That's Drake Rock. He's trying to get to the outside. He'll go down at about the 32-yard line. So Covenant Christian didn't want to kick it deep. And now they put it down at the 31. So the Eagles will have it for the second possession. Got a big first down. They had it at the four-yard line to start last drive. Let's see if they can get that running game going. It has been a struggle so far this year. Had a good game against Central Private, but Abbeville and Riverside kind of kept them in check. Two receivers right, two left. Case will be in the shotgun with Fontenot. On the right. Fontenot goes in motion. Case back, looking, still looking. Case will step up. He'll take off. Now he'll fire it down the field. He's got a man open, and that's Ramagas. He pulls it in. Ramagas will go all the way for the touchdown. Landon Ramagas, 69-yard touchdown, and just like that, the Eagles in business. Case, Biden time in the backfield. Finally, Covenant thought he was going to run. They came up, and Case hit him on the run. And Ramagas showed the speed as he takes it the distance. And the Eagles strike right back. 69-yard strike. Case to Ramagas. And now Lucas Pickens will be in to try to point after. Rock will put it down. Snap is good. The kick is up. And Pickens. Well. We had a flag before. Looked like the offsides might have happened before the kick, so they don't have a chance to decline it. So they'll move the ball up a little bit. And now Pickens will be a yard closer. Snap the hole. The kick is up. And Pickens puts it through. 4-12, just like that. The Eagles, 69-yard case to Ramagas. Touchdown. And they're tied at 7. A.J. Dolman Chevrolet Dodge Jeep and A.J. Dolman Chevrolet Cadillac are the dealerships that will work for you. We've got the best products, the best service, and the best prices. Chevrolet, Cadillac, Ram, Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep. Why drive outside of St. Mary Parish for your next vehicle when you can drive away in something new close to home? Visit the A.J. Dobin dealerships at the foot of the Morgan City Bridge in Berwick. And vote St. Mary Parish Sheriff Deputy Gary Driscoll, the next St. Mary Parish Sheriff. With over 37 years of law enforcement experience, elect a leader who will clearly 
protect the quality of life for you and your family for many years to come. Well, this sets up to be a shootout as both teams have scored on touchdown passes. And now the Eagles will kick it away. It'll be Pickens to put his foot into it. A Baron Streams back deep. Streams had a pretty good return. I tell you what, he's got some speed. The Eagles want to possibly kick it away from him. Four twelve to go, first quarter, tied up at seven. Each team has had it twice. Each team has scored once. Pickens puts his foot into it. This is a low, short kick. It'll bounce. Steams will pick it up at the 32. He gets to the outside. Cuts it back, and he's hit hard, but taken down at midfield. Another good return by Steams. You've got to keep the ball away from him. He is a playmaker. Duval makes the stop. Steams, the junior. Tell you what. They tried to kick it short so he wouldn't get it, but I think now you're going to have to kick it away from him to the other side. So exactly at midfield is where Covenant Christian will start this drive. Covenant Christian has the best of it on field position. The first drive, they started at the 45. The second drive, they got it back at about the 42, their own, and now midfield. Robo showed a quarterback. He's in the shotgun. They'll put two receivers to the right, one to the left, wing back to the right. Robichaux calls for the football. Inside handoff. That is way in Winslow, and he's going to be taken down almost immediately. That's number 13. That's Caleb Willis making a stop, dropped him for a five-yard loss. Great penetration by Willis. He's playing on that defensive line. Second down and 15. Here's Robichaux. Back to pass. Throws it out there, complete, split in. Trying to make a move. He's not going to be able to get away. Taken down. That was Fontenot out there on the stop. And he'll maybe lost a yard. So now... It's third and long. So third down and long. Well, you know they want to try to get that ball to Steens if they could. And again, the Eagles jump off sides, and that's going to give them five. Willis too aggressive. Steams is wrapped, locked up over here with Tylen Hollins, Eagles' best cover guy. So third down now in 12. Clock moves, 2.45 to go in the first. Tied at seven apiece. Covenant Christian scored first, and then the Eagles answered. Steams comes out. To the near side. Hollins goes with him. Robichaux gets the snap. Back to pass. Here come the rush. They set up a screen outside. Winslow has it. Tries to make a move. He breaks a tackle down the sideline. He'll be pushed out of bounds, but he'll have the first down. Nice call by Covenant Christian. Eagles protecting steams on this left side. They threw the screen to Winslow. And he gets it down to the Eagle 38, and that's the first down. Third down and 12, and the Lions convert. So first and 10, ball sitting at the Eagle 38. Winslow lines up behind Robichaux in the shotgun. They put a man in motion. That's Strassclair. High snap, pulls it down, give it to Winslow at the middle. Eagles will hang on. That's Duval. Middle linebacker steps up, fills the hole, and pushes Winslow down. Might have got one. Hey, Covenant Christian has not been able to run the football on the Eagles at all. They keep pounding Winslow. 
the big senior, but they've done a good job of keeping him in check. One forty-five. clock moving. Second down and nine. Ball at the Central Catholic 37. Lions with the ball. Here's Robichaud rolling left, still rolling, looking downfield, fires it. Incomplete pass broken up. That's Fontenot done a good job. Bear couldn't come up with the ball. And now to be third down and nine. Covenant has been able to connect on three third down and longs. Let's see if they do it here. Twice they went to steams on the down and out. Other time they set up a screen to the other side. Let's see what they do here. Clock stopped, 127 after the incompletion. Ball sitting at the Central Catholic 37. Turf field here at Gidry Stadium. And there's a timeout called by Covenant before the snap. So they'll take the timeout. Thibodeau Regional Health System is proud to announce that it has earned advanced certification as a primary stroke center by the Joint Commission. Thibodeau is the first and only hospital in southeast Louisiana to achieve this designation, meeting the highest standards for treatment of stroke patients. Did you know the Tesha Action Clinic offers telemed services? You can visit with any of our internal medicine doctors or our mental health providers right from the comfort of your own home. Just call 985-384-2371 and tell the person answering the phone that you are interested in registering for Tesh Action Clinic's telemed program. And vote Bo LaGrange, candidate for Saint for State Senator, District 21. No one can match his experience. Early voting begins on September 30th and ends October 7th. Vote number 56, Bo LaGrange for State Senate, District 21. So after the timeout, the Lions will play it third down and nine from the Eagle 37. Robichaud will be in the shotgun. Winslow to his left. Here's a snap. Back to pass. Robichaud pump fake. Throws it deep. He's got a bear out there, but incomplete. They kept Steens in. They faked a little quick screen to him, trying to get Abair behind the defense, but good coverage by Fontenot and Hollins down there, and now to be fourth down. And it looks like they're going to go for it. And right here, you can bet number two is going to be the primary target for this one. Fourth and seven, ball at the 37 will be a big hole for the Eagles. Fourth and nine. Robichaud rolls to the left. He's looking for Steens. Throws it. High pass incomplete. Steens went up to get it over his head. And that's going to be incomplete. And the Eagles get the ball back on downs as Covenant fails to convert with 117 to go. It's tied at seven, and the Eagles will have it. So a good job by the Eagles. Drive started at the 50. They got down to the 37, but that was as far as they can go. And now the Eagle offense back out there. They hit a big play last time, 69-yard pass from Case to Landon Ramagos for the touchdown. Case will put a man in motion. That's Baker. He'll throw it out here quick, but that's going to be movement. One of the wideouts, I think it was Willis, Moved it too quick. They were just trying to set up a quick screen out here to Baker. And that'll cost the Eagles five. Willis and Hollins was out here. Trying to block for Baker, but movement before the snap. And that'll cost them five. Leapree and Hollins now comes to the near side. Ramagos and Rock to the top of the set. Case, back to pass, looking, still looking. Throws it over the middle, incomplete. 
Pass was looking for Ramagas again, but just a little too high. And now it'll be second down and 15. Those crossing routes have been open. That time Case just put up a little too high. 110. A little warm night for football, but not bad. Much better than last week at Riverside when we had a torrential rain at halftime. Fontenot in short motion. Case looking pass. They'll set up the screen to Fontenot. It's well set up. Fontenot slips down. Boy, that thing was set up. And Fontenot just kind of lost his footing, and that allowed number 15 to come up and make the stop. Mason Dudek, but boy, he had some room in front of him if he could have kept his foot. We've seen a couple people slip so far on the turf field. Not sure what shoes the Eagles are wearing tonight, but now to be third down in about seven. 37 seconds on the game clock, 12 on the play clock. The Eagles going to have to hurry. Got to get set. And they may have to use a timeout here. No, they get the snap off. Case looking. Fires it on the sideline. He's got Baker. Baker pulls it in. He's at the 40. Makes a move. Cut down at the 30. Inside the 30 of Covenant Christian. Good patience by Case. Baker just went to the sideline. Nobody picked him up. Case saw him. Big gain on the play. First and 10 Eagles at the Lion. 28-yard line, 10 seconds. The Eagles will probably let it wind down. And that will do it for the first quarter. 7-7 all tied up, but the Eagles on the move. When we come back for quarter number two, you're listening to Central Catholic Football right here on KBZE. For all your personal injuries, call the law firm that will understand your situation. Ramsey, Scow, Streven, Bourgeois. A reputation, respect, and results, call 985-395-9247. Are you ready to get healthy and fit? Well, you're in luck. The Bayou Bend Fitness Center is now open. This state-of-the-art of the art facility offers a range of services, including high-tech exercise equipment, group exercise classes, indoor track, indoor pool, personal trainer, a kid's club, children's program, and more. Begin the journey to a healthy, more productive view at the Bayou Bend Fitness Center. Call 337-907-6767 or stop by at 1029 Northwest Boulevard in Franklin. We go to quarter number two. The Eagles have not run the football, but, boy, they have thrown it around. Big touchdown pass of 69 yards to Ramagasa. Big play right there to Baker. Sets up the Eagles in business at the line. 28-yard line. Line has done an outstanding job protecting Case, and Case with the patience stays in that pocket. He'll move around right when it looks like he's going to run. He still looks downfield, and he's able to get the ball off. Landon Ramagas to the left. Hollins and Leapree to the top of the set. Baker in the backfield with Case. Now Ramagas goes in motion. They'll give it to him on the speed sweep. Ramagas trying to get to the corner. Cuts it up. Ramagas cuts it back out of bounds inside the 15 at the 12. Landon Ramagas showed his speed out there. A big gain. And now we got a flag, and that's going to be holding against the Eagles. Thrown way back here at the 39-yard line. So holding is going to be the call. So a 10-yard bark off in the flags have hurt the Eagles so far. And now it'll be first and 20. Ball back at the 38. They got to get to the 18 for the first down. First and 20.
Here's Case, back to pass. Looking downfield, fires it over the middle. That's going to be complete, pull down. That's number 11 down there. Landon Leapree goes up high. Bear, the safety, came up, tried to get the interception. But Leapree goes up, pulls it down at the 15. That's going to be a first and 10. 23-yard strike. And it'll be first and 10 Eagles. no to the left. Baker to the right of Case. Benjamin gets a snap inside. Cash Baker, he bounces it outside, looking for a block. Head to the corner. Baker taken down with a nice open field tackle. That is Bear making a stop. But Baker will get about eight. Second down and two. Got to get to the five for the first down. Eagles have it on the seven, knocking on the door. Can ill afford any penalties or turnovers right here. Get the ball in the end zone, take the lead. 10.30, clock running, first half. Eagles, two to the right, two to the left. Ramagas goes in motion. Case. Fakes it, throws it out to Ramagas. He's got a blocker case to Ramagas. Ramagas dives down for the pylon, but he's just short. Bounced out of bounds at the one-yard line, and the Eagles will have it first and goal at the one. Last time when Ramagas went on motion, they gave it to him on that sweep. That time threw a little screen out to him. Got good blocks from the receivers. Lee Pre and Hollins and Ramagas turned it into a first down, first and goal for the Eagles. Here's Case. Give it to Baker. He's cut down. Trosclair knifing in there. Baker slow to get up. Well, they just came with a run blitz, and Trosclair was able to get him down at the knees. No gain. Case goes to the sideline to get the play. 20 seconds on the clock. It looks like Coach Grogan may keep him over there and they'll let the play clock run down. They'll use a timeout. They got to figure out when you get here close to the goal line, they split them out. But, boy, it's been pretty good run defense so far. So timeout, Eagles, 9.22 to go. Despite the end of the public health emergency, we must remain vigilant. COVID-19 continues to be a public health threat. Together, we can overcome this challenge. Make the decision to protect yourself and your loved one. Tesh Action Clinic encourages you and your family to get the updated COVID-19 vaccine and booster. Call 337-420-6646 to schedule an appointment. Visit tabhealth.org for a location near you. Stay strong, stay safe. We are in this together. At Thibodeau Regional, our journey to patient-centered excellence is fueled by strong leadership and driven by a passionate team working together to deliver the highest quality, uh, safest care, consistently adding more services, physicians, and technology, ensuring you have an outstanding patient experience. As a result, thousands have made us the most preferred hospital with patient-centered excellence. At Thibodeau Regional, it's not just a destination, it's a journey. Driven by one purpose, and that purpose is you. Second and goal from the one. Eagles trying to take the lead for the first time tonight. Baker on the right side of Case. Now, excuse me, that's Fontno in the Wildcat. Fontno ended up in the shotgun. He faked it to Baker, and he kept it himself right side. Tate Fontno scores, and the Eagles lead it by a score of 13 to 7. So after the timeout, they snuck Fontno out at quarterback. He faked it, so a one-yard run, and now Lucas Pickens is trying to point after. Rock will put it down. Garcia will snap it. Good snap. The hold is down. The kick is up. 
and it's good. So Pickens two for two in the extra point department, and the Eagles lead it 14 to seven. Bayou Ben is unmatched in their tradition of care. You aren't just a number at Bayou Ben. Everyone is personal. It's like a family experience. Everyone is someone you want to talk to, someone you want to take care of you. Whatever can come up at Bayou Ben, they can take care of it. On October 14th, vote to renew the millage and allow Bayou Ben to serve our community with state-of-the-art equipment and top-notch providers. Let's continue the tradition of care in St. Mary. Paid for, by, paid for by the Bayou Bend Health System. I'd like to thank all our sponsors who allow us to bring you these games every week. Mr. Caste will have more at halftime from the sponsors. We'll get some scores from other games. We told you district for some teams starting in the parish, especially in this district, 7-1-A, Central Catholic and Covenant, Hanson and Highland, Generet and Centerville, so a big start to the high school season as we already in week number four. And tomorrow in New Orleans, Nickel State will take on Tulane, 6 o'clock kick. And in Baton Rouge, it's Arkansas and LSU, also 6 o'clock. Pickens will kick it. This time he'll just pooch it up in the air. Eagles hustling down there. Somebody caught it in the air, and I think that's going to be Eagle ball. Down the sideline. Was that number three? I think that's who it was, Landon Ramagas. It almost looked like a pass. Pickens, a high snap, a high kick. But now they're going to talk about it because, let's see, does it have to hit the ground first before you can recover it is the question. And there comes the flag. A lot of times what you'll see, especially onside kicks in the NFL, they'll hit the ball into the ground, it'll go up. Ball has to hit the ground. If not, it's almost like a punt, and they down it. The officials are getting together, but it was perfect. Ramagas was right down the sideline. He caught it in stride. I think it's illegal touching against the Eagles. So Covenant will retain possession, but it was a great kick, and they wanted to kick it away from Steams, no doubt, and they did just that. Got a score from Franklin. It's Hanson on top of Highland Baptist, 26-6. to The Tigers off to an 0-3 start. Continue to roll tonight in their district opener. So they'll get penalized five yards from the spot of the touch, I believe. And they'll put it down at the 50. Ramagas caught it at about the 45. So, again, Covenant Christian with good field position as they start at the 50-yard line. Robichaux, empty backfield, three receivers to the left, one, two to the right. Long count, hard count, Eagles jump, but no call. Now they'll put Winslow in motion to back to the backfield. Here's a snap, inside give to Winslow. He has a little room for the first time, and Fontenot fills the hole and takes him down at the 46, gain of four. That'll be second down and six. Nine minutes, clock running here in the half. Eagles lead it 14 to 7. Robichaux looks to the sideline for the play. Here's a snap. Quick pass on the outside. Ball deflected. That was Willis who got in there and got his hand up and tipped it away. Good defense, and now it's third down and six. Caleb Willis playing that right defensive end spot. He's 
So third down and six. Ball sitting at the Central Catholic 46. Eagles lead it 14 to 7. Robichaud back to pass. Rolling. Throws it out here. And it's complete. He overthrew one receiver, but the other one was sitting back there. And he makes the catch. That's Connor Baskell, a senior wideout. He pulls it in, and that's a first down. And another third down conversion for the Lions, and they have it at the Central Catholic 32. Abair was the receiver. It looked like he threw it over his head, but Baskell was behind him. Here's the inside give. Still on his feet. Down the sideline. Taken out of bounds. Let's see. They say yes, out of bounds at the three-yard line. That's number three, Connor Lally, the sophomore, couldn't get him down. And they get it down at the two-yard line. First time they really got any yards to speak of in the running game. And he broke tackles. Eagles couldn't get him down. And now it's first and goal covenant at the Eagle two. So, again, Robichaud will be in the shotgun with Winslow. Inside give. Winslow cuts it back. Dies for the end zone. Did he get there? Yes. Winslow. Two-yard touchdown run. And Covenant Christian a point away from tying things back up. So Winslow answers Fontenot's one-yard run with a one-yard run of his own. And now it'll be Abair to try to kick the extra point. Robichaud will hold it. Here's a snap to hold. The kick is up, and it's good. So 14 to 14 with 7.55 to go. St. Mary Parish assessor Javard Lohman is a proud sponsor of high school sports. And bad credit, slow credit, no credit, new credit, bankruptcy, repossession, or foreclosure. Whatever your situation is, Harley at A.J. Doman Chevrolet is ready to help you. Visit A.J. Doman Chevrolet in Berwick and tell him you heard this commercial from KBZE. 800 Robertson Street in Berwick. Call 985-221-4139. Call Harley at A.J. Doman Chevrolet, 985-221-4139. So teams trading shots back and forth. Covenant scored first. The Eagles responded with a touchdown. Then the Eagles scored, and Covenant Christian right back down and scored. Of course, it was aided by the kickoff that they ruled illegal touching by the Eagles. It looked like they had the onside kick, but the ball didn't hit the ground. I don't know if anybody called a fair catch for Covenant Christian, but that was the call. And now Abair will kick it away. He has kicked it short every time, too, not giving Fontenot a chance to run it. We saw Rock last time on the return. Bear again, this is a high kick. That's a fair catch caught. And that'll be Ramagas. Call for the fair catch, and Eagles will start to drive at the 37. The Eagles back on offense. See if they can keep on. Moving that football, they've been successful through the air. Cases could have, Cases had a good first half. Baker in the backfield, Fontenot on the wing. Man comes in motion. Ramagas, they pitch it to him. Flag comes out. There's another flag. Couple flags out. I'm 
Let's see what the f markers are about. Holding is the call. That's declined. Two holes on the play, and they'll get the second one. And again, that flag has put the Eagles behind the sticks all night. They've been able to overcome a lot of them, but. So another 10-yard penalty to start the drive, and it's first and 20. Here comes Drake Rock. Two receivers right, two to the left. Case gets a snap. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. Still looking. Case dodges. He gets it out to Ramagas. Ramagas cutting it up. He's taken out of bounds. That looks like a horse collar. No call. And Ramagas gets about 15 yards on the play. Again, good job by Case to move around in that pocket. Saw Ramagas and gave it to him. So second down and five, ball at the Eagle. 43. Ramagas in motion again. Case will set up that screen. This time to Baker. He catches over the shoulder. Baker head to the outside and he slips. I tell you what. Eagles running backs have had trouble keeping their feet. And boy, he is right at the sticks and it's third down. And nope, they say give him the first down. So they'll move the chains. 6.48, clock running here in the half. Tied at 14. Eagles have it now at their own 47. Again, overcoming a first and 20-yard penalty. 10-yard penalty marked it back, first and 20, and they get the first down. Coach... Rogan says he had to call timeout because the play clock was running down. and He's still saying we should have had the play clock, but evidently they'll use the timeout. Taco Bell's rolled chicken tacos are full of shredded, marinated, all-white meat chicken. And the best part, they come with three amazing dipping sauces to choose from. Spicy ranch, warm nacho cheese sauce, and house-made guacamole. Order rolled chicken tacos on the Taco Bell app and get one dip for two pack, two dips for four pack at participating Taco Bell stores for a limited time only while supplies last. Vote Angelina Swords Bricotta, number 106, the next St. Mary Parish Councilman at Large for District 8. And the committee to reelect State Representative Vinnie St. Blanc, number 81, representing Stevensville in Morgan City. First and 10 Eagles at their own 47, 623 to go. It's been a good one so far. Good offense on both sides. Big plays have led to all the scores. And only a couple stops by each team so far. Let's see if the Eagles can get down and put another one in the end zone. Jack Lee Pree and Landon Ramagas come to the near side. Case puts Ramagas in motion. He'll get the snap. He'll fake it to him. He's looking. He's rolling. Now he'll throw it out here complete to Leaper, and he dropped it. Hit him in the stomach, and he dropped it. Boy, it looked like he was going to turn it up before he caught it. Saw Leaper make a drop last week. It looked like. Could have went for a eagle touchdown and went through his hands into the hand of a Riverside defender and really turned the complexion of that game around. Second down and 10. So they try to get that ball to Hollins eventually. Let's 
Now Holland's in motion. He'll take a quick pass. He's trying to cut it inside. Good open field tackle. That's Trosclair. So now it's third down and 10. The Eagles are trying to just get the line defense out of position with these short motions and the quick screens, but the Lions have played pretty good so far. Three receivers stacked to the right side. Case, back to pass. Good protection. Still looking. Fires it down the field. Deep down the field. Incomplete. Landon Leafrey stopped running. And now it'll be fourth down. So the Eagles have to punt it. And now that'll be Jack Leapry to kick it away. Steen's back deep, so you know you want to get a good kick here. Low snap. He'll field it. Get the kickoff. Good high kick. Steen's going back. He'll field it. 20 drops the football. It's rolling backwards. He'll pick it up at the 10, and he's taken down out of bounds. Tate Fontenot on the coverage. So that'll start this possession to 15. Their worst starting field position by far so far here in the game. 5.15 to go. Saw a little life in that running game. Last possession. Eagles couldn't stop it. It was a big run by Connor Lolly. That was his first carry of the game. Winslow has done most of the running tonight. Robichaud in the shotgun. Gets the football. Give it to Winslow. Winslow up the middle, and he's hit hard. That's Fontenot. Making a hit after a four-yard pickup. So second down and six. 4.50 clock running here in the half. It's been a good game up to this point. Two teams looking to start District 1-0. and Robichaux, inside give to Winslow, taking down Bennett. Stood him up and pushed him back. Duval also there. Along with Piku, number 55. One yard gain. So now it's third down and four. Here comes Lolly into the game. Winslow comes out. Got to think they're going to give this ball to number three. Steam's not in there. Robichaux does give it to Lolly up the middle. He's hit Fontenot driving back, and I don't think he made it. It's going to be close, but I guess where they marked it, they said he fell forward, and I think he got it. Fontenot pushed him back. And they say first down. Just made it. So the ball now at the Lion 25, 3.30 to go. Again, Steam's not in there, taking a break. Here's Robichaud on the roll, throws it out here. Complete, but tackled immediately by Hollins. 
That was Basco. Might have got one or two. Actually, they say incomplete. Hollins knocked it out of his hands. So it's second down and 10. Now Steens comes back on the field. Steens will go out to the left. Hollins has followed him all night long. Inside give to Lolly. He bounces it out. He's got some room. Lolly down the sideline. Cuts it back in. He's into Eagle territory. Tell you what, I don't know why they don't give the ball to him more often. That's been about 65 yards and two carries for him. Well, actually three carries, maybe about 70 yards. That's a big first down all the way to the Eagle 47. Lolly will stay in. Winslow on the bench. They'll spread the Eagles out. Robichaux inside give. Lolly again breaks a tackle. Eagles corralling pretty quickly as he got three. Lolly a little slow to get up. He also plays middle linebacker. Now Winslow will come in. He'll go out. So second down and seven, 220 clock running. Here's Robichaux. Looks to Steens. Ball knocked down again by Willis. Ball was trying to get out to Steens out there, and boy, he jumped up and made the play. And now it'll be third down and seven. Clock stop, 155. We're tied at 14. Each team scored in the first quarter. Each team has scored here in the second. Three receivers right, one to the left. Here's Robichaux. Bad snap. He picks it up. He's being chased. He'll take it down. Willis got him way back at the Covenant Christian 43. Bad snap went by the quarterback. And now Coach Grogan wants a timeout, and he gets it with 143 to go. He's going to force him to punt it and see if maybe Fontenot can make something happen. But that was a. About a 13-yard loss on the play. And now a big fourth down all the way back at the Covenant 44. So a bad snap. Went by the quarterback. Robles had to pick it up. And Willis has been big on this drive. He knocked down a pass. And that time he got on the quarterback. And they're going to have to kick it away. Fontenot, very dangerous. Return that punt. See if he gets a chance here. Hebert is going to kick it. I believe it was at Robichaux. Let's see. Fontenot is dropping back. Hebert will kick it. Fontenot back at about his 15. Here's the snap. Eagles, no rush. Gets his foot into it. Good kick. It'll bounce at the 20. Fontenot looks at it, thought about it. Now he'll get away from it. Now he picks it up. Everybody went by him. Fontenot picks it up, and he takes it down. Everybody kind of got away from it. And as a flag, as Fontenot got up, took exception to somebody tackling him, and I think he might have pushed him, and that's going to cost the Eagles 15 unsportsmanlike contact.
Looked like they wouldn't let him up. Let's see what the call is. Could be offsetting. Nope. Looks like it'll go against the Eagles. Dead ball. Personal foul against Central Catholic. That's going to be half to this to the goal, and I think that's going to take off really any chance that the Eagles have had to score here. But we'll see how they choose to play it. It's at the 19, so that'll bring it down to about the 10. Let's see if they try something safe maybe, and hopefully Ramagas or Hollins might better break it. 130. Left. Don't want to make a mistake here. Two receivers right, two left. Baker in the backfield with Case. Case gives to Baker. Right side. Baker down the sideline. He's pushed out of bounds. Pretty good gain up to about the 16. Give him six yards. Clock stop, 124. I think the Eagles have one timeout left. Looks like they just want to get a little breathing room, then maybe take a shot for a big play. Collins, a case of quick pitch to Hollins. Hollins gets the first down, steps out of bounds at the 21, 120. So those two plays took 10 seconds. So first and 10 Eagles, they moving it now at the 21-yard line. Case, back to pass, looking, looking, still rolling. Now Case will take off with it. He'll go out of bounds. Got out of bounds, so the clock will stop, 113. Going to have to have a couple more big chunks. they getting it five yards at a time. Ball at the 26 of the Eagles. Case, straight back. Here come the rush. Case will get it off. Screen set up. That's Baker. Baker cuts it back inside. And a great open field tackle. Number 21 came off the block. That's Lucas Lolly and made the stop. Eagles could have blocked him. It could have went for big yardage. But they'll take it. First down. Clock in one minute. Running. Ball at the Eagle 37. Case back. Throws it back down the sideline. Passes up. Incomplete. Off the hands of Landon Leeper. He looked back. The defender didn't look. Had him. He just couldn't haul it in. Would have been a big gain, the one they were looking for. And now with 50 seconds left, it's second down. Case, back to throw. He's looking. He'll roll. Still rolls. Being chased. Throws it up in the air and out of bounds. Good job by Case to get rid of it. He was under rush that time. Here come a flag. Oh, I'm sorry. That was a towel over there. Was dropped. So now third down and 10 with 42 seconds left. Case gets instruction from the sideline. Rock, Ramagas, and Hollins here to the near side. Case will turn. He'll hand off. Baker looking for the room. Baker down the sideline. He's pushed out of bounds. He won't have the first down, but the clock will stop. 45-yard line, so it'll be fourth down and two. Let's see what the Eagles... Two here with 35 seconds left. I think what you do is you maybe try to 
draw them off sides, but if not, nope. It looks like they made the decision to kick it. So Leafrey will come in. Here's a snap. They say timeout. Covenant before the snap, so they'll take a timeout. They wanted to protect against a possible fake, but it didn't look like the Eagles were going to fake it right there. Vote St. Mary Parish Sheriff's Deputy Gary Driscoll, the next St. Mary Parish Sheriff. With over 37 years of law enforcement experience, elect a leader who will clearly protect the quality of life for you and your family for many years to come. Good crowd on here, on hand here, Nichols. Everybody sits on one side, the home side. So after the timeout, the Eagles come back into punt formation. A barrel drop back this time. We saw Steams go back, but he dropped the punt. Here's a snap. Leafrey gets it, gets his foot into it. Good kick. Hebert coming up. He'll bobble it. He feels it, trying to get to the outside. He's taken down on a good tackle by Fontenot. Twenty-six seconds left. It'll be Covenant Christian Ball at their own 33. Not sure what they'll do with it. I think they might just try to get a handoff and see if Winslow can maybe make something happen or Lolly. Or maybe you take a shot with Steams on the outside. Winslow will line up in the slot. So three receivers left, two to the right. Empty backfield for Robichaux. Here's a snap. Robichaux looking. Here come the rush. He throws it over the middle, and that ball was almost intercepted by Fontenot. He just laid it out there with nobody there as the rush was bearing down on him. Three-man rush, and Garcia was back there in a hurry. Excuse me, that was Piku, 55. So second down in 10, 21 seconds. And, boy, after seeing that, if I'm covering at Christian, I'm saying, look, let's just hand off and get out of this thing. That ball almost intercepted. So Robichaux will put three receivers left, one to the right, and he'll have Winslow in the backfield. He's back to pass, fires it out. Going deep is Ramagas. He throws it out of bounds. 15 seconds, so now it's third and 10. Good coverage by Ramagas on Abair. So third and 10. This time they will give it to Winslow, and the Eagles will have him in the backfield. He's taken down. And they watch the clock run out. And it goes to zeros, and that is the end of the first half with the score. Central Catholic 14, Covenant Christian 14. District opener for both teams. They're going to take us to the half, and we'll turn it over to Mr. Caste to go the halftime for you. We'll get some scores from other games in our area and get you caught up on this first week of district for some teams in St. Mary Parish. 14 all at the half. Central Catholic and Covenant Christian. 
High School Football on KBZE. And again, we thank you for joining us tonight. We apologize for being just a little late when we started. We uh, had some issues in trying to get the game on YouTube, so um, we couldn't, and we ended up putting the game here on Facebook as you're watching it. So we appreciate your patience in doing that. Also, we'd like to tell everyone that tomorrow you can tune in to KBZE uh, beginning at 4 o'clock for the pregame show of LSU versus Utah. Uh, that'll be on 105.9 FM. So please tune in tomorrow um, as KBZE presents LSU versus Utah beginning at roughly um, 4 p.m. with uh, with the pregame show. So once again, we want to thank all of our sponsors for helping us bring you tonight's game. They include... St. Mary Parish Assessor Jared Lohman, always a proud sponsor of high school sports. A.J. Doman Chevrolet, bad credit, slow credit, no credit, new credit, bankruptcy, repossession, or foreclosure, whatever your situation is, hardly at A.J. Doman Chevrolet is ready to help you. Visit A.J. Doman Chevrolet in Berwick and tell him you heard this commercial from KBZE. 800 Robinson Street, call 985-221-4139. Call Harley at A.J. Doman Chevrolet at 985-221-4139. Taco Bell's rolled chicken tacos are full of shredded, marinated, all-white meat chicken. And the best part, they come with three amazing dipping sauces to choose from. Spicy ranch, warm nacho cheese, sauce, and house-made guacamole. Order rolled chicken tacos on the Taco Bell app. Get one dip per two-pack. Two dips per four-pack at participating Taco Bell stores for a limited time only while supplies last. And as Mr. Thomas said, I uh, got some rolled tacos this week, and they were absolutely excellent. So that's the rolled chicken tacos at Taco Bell. Vote Angelina Swords Bucato number 106, the next St. Mary Parish Councilman at large for District 8. Also, the committee to re-elect State Representative Benny St. Blanc, number 81, representing Stevensville and Morgan City, ask you to kindly reconsider electing him. And vote Robert Allen, the next senator for District 21, number 55, on your ballot. We're moving forward together at Bayou Bend Health System for all of St. Mary Parish, and we remain committed to enhanced patient safety and care. The Bayou Bend Health System is Joint Commission accredited. It's a badge of honor that they wear proudly, and we hope this symbol provides our community with a level of confidence and our dedication to quality health care, and we thank our loyal patrons for your continued support of Bayou Bend Health System. Last night, the St. Mary Chamber held the um, St. Mary Parish um, Candidates Forum featuring uh, the two candidates, uh, and those are Sa uh, Sam Jones as well as Tim LeBlanc. You can look at our coverage of that. That's on our Facebook pages, uh, and that was in the ballroom of Bayou Bend. A.J. Doman Chrysler Dodge Jeep and A.J. Doman Chevrolet Cadillac are the dealerships that will work for you. We've got the best products, the best service, and the best prices. Chevrolet, Cadillac, Ram, Chrysler, Dodge, and Deep Jeep. Why drive outside of St. Mary Parish for your next vehicle when you can drive away in something new close to home? Visit the A.J. Doman dealerships at the foot of the Morgan City Bridge in Berwick. Vote St. Mary Parish Sheriff Deputy Gary Driscoll, the next sheriff of St. Mary Parish. With over 37 years of law enforcement experience, elect a leader who will clearly protect the quality of life for you and your family for many years to come. And again, earlier this week, the St. Mary NAACP held a forum featuring uh, the sheriff's candidates, and you can look at that footage on our Facebook page as well. So we're helping you be informed. The big day, of course, is October 14th. That's Election Day. Early voting starts September 30th, and it runs all the way to uh, October 7th. Uh, there is no early voting on Sunday, October 1st, but again, it goes from September 30th all the way to October 7th. 
Thibodeau Regional Health System is proud to announce that it has earned certification as a primary stroke center by the Joint Commission. Thibodeau is the first and only hospital in southeast Louisiana to achieve this dedication, meaning the highest standards for treatment of stroke patients. Did you know that Tesh Action Clinic offers telemed services? You can visit with any of our internal medicine doctors or our mental health providers right from the comfort of your own home. Just call 985-384-2371 and tell the person answering the phone that you are interested in registering for Tesh Action Clinic's telemedicine program. And as Seth said earlier, uh, Tesh has a clinic in Morgan City in Pierre Park. Uh, Tesh also has a clinic here in uh, Thibodeau, and there is also one in Homa on uh, Tunnel Boulevard, one in Dulac on Grand Caillou and Road, and another inside of uh, Cadian Elementary School in Homa. Vaubrogue Lagrange, the next senator for District 21 in St. Mary Parish. No one can match this experience. Early voting begins on September 30th and ends October 7th. Vote number 56, Bola Grange for State Senate District 21. Excuse me. For all personal injuries, call the law firm that will understand your situation. Ramsley, Skiles, Striba, and Bourgeois. Reputation, respect, and results. Call 985-395-9247. Are you ready to get healthy and fit? Well, you're in luck. The Bayou Bend Fitness Center is now open. This state-of-the-art facility offers a high range of services, including high-tech exercise equipment, group exercise classes, indoor track, indoor pool, personal trainer, kids club, children's program, and much more. Begin the journey to a healthy you, a more productive you, at the Bayou Bend Fitness Center. Call 337 907-6767 907-6767 or stop by at 1029 Northwest Boulevard in Franklin. And uh, while you're listening to me read off our sponsors, you're actually looking at video of, uh, I believe, Covenant Christian's uh, flag team. Despite the end of the public health emergency, we must remain vigilant. COVID-19 continues to be a public health threat Together, we can overcome this challenge. Make the decision to protect yourself and your loved one. Tesh Action Clinic encourages you and your family to get the updated COVID-19 vaccine and booster. Call 337-420-6646 to schedule an appointment uh, or visit tabhealth.org for a location nearest you. Stay strong. Stay safe. We are in this together. At Thibodeau Regional, our journey to patient-centered excellence is fueled by strong leadership and driven by a passionate team working together to deliver the highest quality safety care. Constantly adding more services, physicians, and technology, ensuring you'll have an outstanding patient experience. As a result, thousands have made Thibodeau Regional the most preferred hospital with patient-centered excellence. At Thibodeau Regional, it's not a destination, it's a journey driven by one purpose, you. And once again, we'd like to remind everyone that KBZE will be broadcasting the LSU-Utah game tomorrow, Arkansas game, excuse me, tomorrow at 6 o'clock, LSU-Arkansas tomorrow at 6 uh, the pregame starts at 4 p.m. And we want to thank our sponsors, uh, St. Mary Golf, A.J. Doman, Chevrolet, and the Bayou Bend Health System. Also, uh, we have Canada sponsoring the game as well, so uh, you'll be able to hear their messages throughout the event. If you're just joining us, the score right now is tied 14-14. Five minutes left to the halftime and of course the clock is winding down and I think we might be turning it over to Mr. Thomas soon to get some scores he doesn't know yet he's he's still searching his files uh, and his contacts reaching far and wide to get you the latest score uh 
uh, Mr. Caste was a little tired of speaking, so he'll turn it back over to me. And now we still got about 445 left here. We've got a couple scores to tell you about before we recap the scoring in this one. Hanson's on top of Highland Baptist 26 to 6. The Tigers undefeated. They're opening district tonight over at home. They lead it 26 to 6. Jennerad is on top of Centerville 16 to nothing. Centerville also was undefeated. Jennerad 16 to nothing. St. James is on top of Assumption 20 to 13. Edie White all over Woodlawn of Baton Rouge 29 to 7. At the half, Morgan City 13, Ellender nothing. The Tigers 2 and 1. They got a chance to start district off 1 and 0. Oh. So the Tigers vastly improved and they're looking to go to 3 and 1. And in the second quarter, Chalmette is just drumming Patterson 35 to nothing. Jack's on the road tonight having a tough go of it over in Chalmette. We'll tell you some other games that uh, if you're a high school football fan, you might uh, be interested. Southern Lab rolled over Opelousas Catholic 60-35. to Southern Lab, another good team. Dunham beat Ascension Catholic 29-28. It was Lake Arthur defeating Delcom 27-12. to And some other scores to tell you about. Lorville beat North Vermillion 17-10. The Tigers off to a pretty good start this year as well. Other scores looking down the board. West St. John leads Thrive Academy 28-6. to Also, it is East Beauregard leading Gaydon 24 nothing. Now it's Generet 22, Centerville nothing. That game in the second quarter. No score, St. John and West St. Mary. That game over in Baldwin tonight. Riverside Academy, who beat Central Catholic last week 43 to nothing, is on top of Homer Christian in the first 14 to nothing. Newman leads Manny at half 28 17. Also, scores to tell you about. We get some of local interest. Vermilion Catholic and Erath tied at 14. That game in the second quarter. A non-district game is BC out of district play tonight, but they are tied with their rival Erath. A game in Abbeville. Turlings and Notre Dame, always a battle. That game tied at seven apiece. St. Martinville and Westgate, no score in that one yet. South Terrebonne at the half leads South Lafouche 10 to 7. Also, no score. Lutcher and Vanderbilt. A game over in Homa tonight. St. Charles leads De La Salle 20 to 14. Of course, Mr. Caste's alma mater, De La Salle, he's an old Cavalier. His team is trailing at this point. Kentwood leads Walker 8 to 7 at the half. West Monroe on top of Scotlandville 27 to 6. Rustin leads the Lafayette Christian 14 to 12. Lafayette Christian looked like no one was going to be able to stay with them, but right now Rustin is on top in the second quarter by a score of 14 to 12. Terrebonne leads HL Bourgeois 28 to 7. At half, Curtis over Jesuit 20 to 7. St. John leads Thibodeau at the half. East St. John 21 to 7. Brother Martin leads Washita 10-7. <coughs> Central Lafouche leads Franklin 14-6. That game now in the second quarter. Holy Cross leads Rummel at half 28-7. And I believe that is a look at our high school scoreboard. We'll be back with the kickoff of the second half in just a little bit. Looking at the Eagles schedule the rest of the way after tonight's game. Next week, a home game against Generette.
That'll be Jennerette's second trip to Morgan City. They played the Tigers two weeks ago and beat Morgan City. They'll come back to take on Central Catholic in a district contest. Back-to-back home games, then Central Catholic takes on Centerville also at home. Then on the road to Berwick in a non-district game. That's always a hard-hitting affair there. Then they're at Hanson, home against Vermillion Catholic, and they'll end the regular season at Highland Baptist. So that's the schedule. As we told you, tomorrow, 6 o'clock, LSU Tigers will take on Arkansas. That game in Tiger Stadium. Same time, same kick. It'll be Nichols on the road at Tulane over at Yulman Stadium. That's a 6 o'clock kick. And, of course, on Sunday, the Saints make the trip to Green Bay to take on the Packers at 2-0. and New Orleans Saints. A lot of excitement in New Orleans, both Tulane and the Saints. And, of course, the Tigers put it all together last week against Mississippi State. They'll have to be consistent. They take a banged up, they take on a banged up Arkansas team on Saturday. So we'll see how that will turn out. They put three minutes on the clock. So teams are stretching. This is the way the scoring summary went in the first half. Covenant got the kick. They had a first down, and then they had to kick it away. Eagles started that possession at the four-yard line. They did get a first down, but they also had to punt. And then Highland Baptist went on a scoring drive. It capped off with a 35-yard, 38-yard pass from Robichaud to Steams. That's the 430 mark of the first. The point after was good, and Covenant Christian had a 7-0 lead. Eagles came right back. It took them 18 seconds. A 69-yard scoring strike from Benjamin Case to Landon Ramagas. The point after was good by uh, Lucas Pickens, and we were tied at 7. That's the way the first quarter ended. In the second quarter, the Eagles got it back. A couple of big passes by Case set the Eagles up with a first and goal. Or excuse me, a first and goal at the one. It took him two shots, but Fontenot went in that quarterback. He faked the handoff to Baker. He cashed it in from one yard out. Point by Pickens was good. The Eagles led it 14-7. to seven. And then with 7.55 to go in the half, it was Winslow on a one-yard touchdown run. Point after good, and that's where we stand at 14 apiece. Of course, we told you, Eagles... One and two, they won the first game against Central Private, then lost us to Abbeville and Riverside. Tonight starts district. And no matter what happens, when you get back to district and if you can get a big win, it'll help the rest of the way. Covenant Christian won the toss, and they elected to have the football, so the Eagles will start the second half with the ball. Both teams going to their sidelines. And we're about set to get the second half underway. Of course, we don't know how warm it is out there. And they tell me they tell us it's pretty warm. Of course, me and Mr. Caste sit up here in the sweet section of John L. Guidry Stadium. So they, they said a muggy night for football. Kept waiting for a little colder weather, but we might not get that till end of October, beginning of November. But Mr. Caste. I know how you are with the winter months. I don't know how you are with the Farmer's Almanac. Have you heard of the Farmer's Almanac, Mr. Caste? The Farmer's Almanac predicts this is going to be as a cold of a winter as a hot as it was in the summer. They predict in three snow possibilities in our area. And they say by the end of October, it is going to be really cold. They talk about stretches of weeks and two weeks of freezing weather so i know how much you love that cold weather and especially if we got to be outside in the rain in a playoff game in the cold weather that that's really your favorite up here you're up here lounging with no shoes kind of kick back well you better get ready sir because it's going to be cold i think covenant will kick it off a bear will send it away fontenot and baker back deep again they keep the ball away from fontenot all the Kick so far has been short, the two kickoffs. I expect them to do the same. Last time it was a fair catch by Ramagos. Let's see what happens here. 
A Bear approaches the football. This time he'll kick it away. And he'll go to Baker near side. He comes by the sideline, catches at the 15. He's at the 20. 25. Up to about the 27. Again, you kind of saw Baker lose his footing. Baker and Fontenot's had a tough time tonight. I don't know if it's their cleats or what they got on, but they're slipping on this turf. And now to be first down Central Kelly. Baker also gets up limping just a little bit. But now it'll be first and ten Eagles. Benjamin Case has had a pretty good night tonight. He's moved around that pocket. He's found some receivers, bought some time, made some nice throws. Two receivers to the right. Ramagas will come to the left. Fontenot and Baker will be in the backfield. Case will start in the gun. Inside give. That's Fontenot. He busts through a big hole, and he'll get it up to about the 33. That's a gain of five. Again, the Eagles have not really run the football too good tonight. We've seen a couple speed sweeps from the receiver, Ramagas, that's got some yardage and a good run by Baker, but that's Fontenot's best carry tonight. Second down and five. Case, this time we'll give it to Baker. He's picking his way. He might have got one. Forward progress pushes him back, but it'll be third down, and they'll call it three. They'll give him two yards. Let's see what the Eagles do here on third down. They'll send Drake Rock into the game. Fontenot will go out. Case, back to pass. Quick pass to the outside. Let's see, did he catch it? Yes. Nice diving catch by Rock. No, excuse me. That's Ramagos, number 17. That's Gavin Ramagos coming back to make a nice catch, and that's a first down at the 39. Case threw it a little low, but Ramagos came back and got it. Landon on one side, Gavin on the other. Thought it was 17, excuse me, that was 12. That was Jack Leapery making a nice catch. They got those uniforms stuffed up in their shoulder pad. You can't tell two and a seven. Here's the inside give. That's Baker. Baker with a big hole. Pushed out at the 50. Baker with a quick 11-yard pickup there. Actually got him out at the 48. So a couple nice runs by Baker and Fontenot. And the Eagles have something clicking in the running game here in the second half. Some adjustments. Second down and a long one. Leapry and Hollins comes to the near side. Ramagas to the top. Fontenot on the wing. Case. Gives it to Baker straight up the middle. He's into Lion territory. Carrying defenders with him. He'll get to about the 42, 43-yard line. Good run by Baker. That's a first down. He was doing it on the ground. Inside give, Baker. He'll take down after a short gain. Host of Lions make the stop. Looks like you got players shaking up. Looks like a cramp as they holding his leg up. Uh, that may be number three. That may be Lolly. He's the middle linebacker, and he's been the most effective runner tonight. 
First time we saw cramps tonight, usually on a hot night like this, especially in the second half, you'll start to see them. Yep, it is number three, Lolly, so he'll come off. Well, that's a big loss for Covenant as he is, like I said, been their best defender and best runner. That'll be second down and 10 ball at the line, 42. 8.37 to go here in the third. We're tied at 14 apiece. Case in the gun. Baker to the right, Fontenot to the left. They put Baker in motion. And let's see, something stopped the play. Uh, Covenant Christian has 12 players on the field. You can count them out. They did let them play the play. If they count 12, they'll throw the flag, and that's going to be a five-yard penalty. So it'll be second down and five. Lee Pree and Hollins to the near side. Ramagas to the top of the set. Here comes Baker in motion. Now they'll give it to Fontenot. Fontenot puts his head down, fights his way to the 30. That's another eagle first down. Fontenot fired up after the play. We saw Fontenot earlier. Get a personal foul called on him. That'll move the sticks as the ball is at the Covenant 30. This has been a good drive by the Eagles. They got the kickoff, and they've had the ball. Now for four and a half minutes, he'll put Fontenot in motion. They'll throw it out to Fontenot. He'll catch it. He tries to reverse his field. Fontenot back to the 30. That's about it. To the line of scrimmage. And it'll be second down. Tross Claire on the stop. He goes a bunch of two receivers to the left. Case with a long count. He gives it inside to Baker. They're trapping down behind the line of scrimmage. That's a two yard loss, and now it'll be third down and 12 for the Eagles. First half, they spread them out and threw the football. This half, so far, They've been able to run it, but not the last three times. Eagles hustle to the line with eight on the play clock. Hollins goes in motion. Case will give it to him. Speed sweep. Hollins cuts it back inside. Not much doing. Maybe picked up three. And now it'll be fourth down and nine. And I think here's the situation. There's a flag. Let's see what the flag is. Covenant Christian is clapping. Let's see what that flag is. Eagles have really been getting caught up in the worst of it. Dead ball personal foul against Covenant. So that's going to give the Eagles a first down as that will get it down to the 15. So that penalty, we talked about the Eagles getting hurt by the flag. Well, 
That's a big penalty against Covenant. And I think we'll have the hydration timeout with 5.55 to go. And Eagles first and 10 at the Covenant 15. And now all Covenant players are trying to go out there and plead their case, but the penalty's already been marked off. So that's not going to work. Let me tell you, they've been after the play a lot tonight, and they hadn't got called. Now the coach wants to talk to the officials. Well, that's usually the sign of we ain't going to get together and coach our team. We're going to come over here and we're going to try to talk about this, but it ain't going to matter. I guess he's maybe trying to get the next one. I think what they're saying is a lot of times after the play, Covenant will grab the shirt and pull the Eagle defender down on top of him. Look like that that's what the penalty is, but that time he got caught and they threw the flag. So First and ten Eagles, ball sitting at the line, 15-yard line. Rock split out here wide to the left. Two back set with Case and a gun. Inside get Fontenot. He's got a hole. He bounced to the left. Fontenot at the five. Touchdown, Eagles. Tate Fontenot from 15 yards out. Puts the Eagles back out on top. What an impressive drive for the Eagles to start the third quarter. Six minutes and 11 seconds. They held the football. And they get it in the end zone. Tate Fontenot. His second touchdown of the night, that one from 15 yards out, and Lucas Pickens trying to PAT. Good hold by Rock. The kick is up. Pickens puts it through. Pickens three for three on PATs, and the Eagles lead it 21-14, 5.49 to go here in the third. And the Eagles have a man down with cramps. Well, We've seen Lolly go out with cramps, and he's still trying to walk it off. And now, one of the Eagle linemen, looks like it might be Bennett down with the cramps. We'll check on him when we come back. Vote Angelina Swords, Bracata, number 106, the next St. Mary Parish Councilman at Large for District 8. And the committee to reelect State Representative Vinny St. Blanc, number 81, representing Stevensville and Morgan City. Vote Robert Allan, the next senator for District 21, number 55 on your ballot. And A.J. Dolman, Chrysler Dodge Jeep, and A.J. Dolman Chevrolet Cadillac are the dealerships that will work for you. We've got the best products, the best service, and the best prices. Chevrolet, Cadillac, Ram, Chrysler, Dodge, and Jeep. Why drive outside of St. Mary Parish for your next vehicle when you can drive away in something new close to home? Visit the A.J. Dolman dealerships at the foot of the Morgan City Bridge in Berwick. And that is Bennett going off with that cramp. He's a two-way starter for the Eagles. So he'll go off. They'll try to get him back in the game. And the Eagles will kick it off. Five forty nine left in the third. Central Catholic leads it twenty one to fourteen. Pickens has done the same thing that Covenant has done. Trying to keep the ball away from Steams back there. And he's kicked a lot of short kicks, but they've been getting back to Steams. Now last time he kicked it a little sky kick. And Ramagos fielded it cleanly, but they said it was illegal touching as the ball didn't touch the ground. Let's see what Lucas does this time. He approaches the football. Another sky kick. It was a fair catch called by Trosclair at the 30. Well, that'll work. No return. Getting the ball to the 30-yard line. Good job by Pickens. So Lions will get their first possession here of the second half. Winslow is... Been bottled up mostly. Lolly has really been the back that has been the most effective. And 
Steams, after a good first quarter, it's kind of been shut down a little bit. It's been a little quiet. But a lot has done to the pass rush, and Caleb Willis batting down a couple balls. First and ten, Winslow on the left side of Robichaux. Wingman to the right. Robichaux gives it to Winslow, tries to cut inside. Good run that time as he runs over a couple defenders. Best run of the night for Winslow. Out to the 38. That's a pickup of eight. Second down and two. Fontenot and Duval very active in that middle. Second down and two. Two receivers left, one to the right. Wing back to the left. High snap. Robichaud will keep it up the middle himself. Looks like that was Nelson on the stop. He'll get enough for the first down as he picked up three. So the bad snap that time, Robichaud picked it up, got it forward. And the ball now at the 42. Steams goes out to the left, and that means Hollis will chase him all around. Cross Claire in motion. Here's Winslow. He's taken down at about the 45. Duval. Fontenot thinks he's got the football. Let's see. I didn't see no signal that he may have had it. It'll be a four yard pickup. Second down at six, 3.45, clock running here, third quarter. Eagles lead at 21-14. Lolly back in there at tailback. Robichaud going to throw it high, caught, pulled down. That's number 80. Vasco goes up, pulls it down. Pickens on the coverage. That down, Eagle territory at the 42. Now Steams comes off limping. I don't know if he has a cramp or what, but, boy, he's a guy they can ill afford to lose. So first and ten. Trosclair in motion. Here's the gift to Lolly up the middle. Lolly taken down by Duval after a short gain. Pick up a three, and now it'll be second down and about seven. The Eagles chewed up most of the time here in the third, and now it's just been a running game for Covenant Christian. Keeping it on the ground and that clock is moving, 2.33, clock running here in the third. Covenant can't get set, three on the clock. They get the snap off, they give it to Lolly, and he has a hole. He's going to have about five, but boy, it looked like that the play clock was going to run out. It is a first down. Well, now you're starting to see some guys that have played a lot of football tonight, both sides of the ball. Lolly coming out. Steams is getting worked on his calves. Trostclair looked like he might have the cramps. It's just going to be a battle of the survive, uh, fittest right now. Who's going to survive it? First and 10, ball at the Eagle, 32. 
Winslow up the middle. Inside the 30 to the 25. Seven more. And right now, Covenant just pushing the Eagles around. 120 clock running. Two possessions here so far in the second and the third quarter. The Eagles got to come up with a stop here. With steams out of the game, I think you've got to walk up and just protect against the run. Here they come. They give it to Winslow. Baker was at the bottom of that pile. That's a first down as he gets it to the 21. Nothing fancy here. Just turn it a little counter. They'll put the play clock back up for some reason. One of the players lost his helmet. He was locked up down here, and he lost his helmet. Covenant coaches didn't like it. I tell you what. I guess maybe because it's on this side, but well, they have been on the officials and on the officials all night. And the Eagles have gotten flagged a bunch of times. And that is the end of the third quarter. Well, that was quick. Eagles had the ball for six and a half minutes. Covenant has had it for five and a half. They still have it when we start quarter number four. They'll be in the red zone. Eagles lead it 21 to 7. We're moving forward together at Bayou Bend Health System for all of St. Mary Parish, and we remain committed to enhance patient safety and care. The Bayou Bend Health System is joint commission accredited. It's a badge of honor that we will wear proudly. And we hope this symbol provides our community with a level of confidence in our dedication to quality health care. And we thank our loyal patrons for your continued support of the Bayou Bend health care system. Vote St. Mary Parish Sheriff's Deputy Gary Driscoll, the next St. Mary Parish Sheriff. With over 37 years of law enforcement experience, elect a leader who will clearly protect the quality of life for you and your family for many years to come. Vote Bola Grange, Canada, candidate for State Senator District 21. No one can match his experience. Early voting begins on September 30th and ends October 7th. Vote number 56, Bola Grange for State Senate District 21. Coming at first and 10 on the Eagle 20. Eagles looking for a stop to keep this seven point lead as they lead it 21 14. Wins low to tail back. He has gotten most of the carries. They'll turn, give it to him again. Eagles had him in the backfield, but he got away. And he fights his way down inside the 15. Baker came on a blitz and didn't get him. Now Willis is down. He's helped up. Winslow at the 15. Eagles are starting to sell out on that blitz. Robichaux to Winslow again. Winslow hitting a hole. Still pumps his legs, and he's down to a close to the 10. He'll be close to another first down. Winslow back in the Eagles side of things. We're looking for his towel. Maybe one of the Eagles had the towel. It's third down and one. I don't think they're going to pass it. They give it to Winslow. He's hitting the backfield. Eagles getting down. Loss of two on the play. Hollins wrapped up with a couple players. It's fourth down and three. Every play after the play, battle going on. I 
They're not going to get a playoff because they're busy hollering at the officials. They have to use a timeout. Well, right now, I just, Covenant's kind of self-destructing. They just need to play the game. Again, he'll call the official over, and they'll talk about this and that, and I want the call, and it's over here, and they fighting. But both both teams are hitting after the whistle. Both teams are pushing. I don't know how you can pick one out. Eagles made a great defensive play. They have run the ball all the way down the field. They sold out. They hit Winslow in the backfield. He tried to get away, but he couldn't. And now it's fourth down and three, so. I don't believe they're going to give it to Winslow. I think they're going to throw the ball. I think they're probably going to go to Basco number 80 because Steens is still over here on the bench. They've been trying to stretch him out. He hadn't been able to get back in the game. So let's see who they go to. And, again, they are just Fourth down and three. Big play in this one with 10.01 to go. Eagles show blitz, and they come across the line. Huh. That'll be a first down to the five-yard mark. Also be first and goal, Covenant. And right now, it's going to just be a battle of who can hold that composure. It's first and goal from the eight. Fourth down and three, and the Eagles go off sides. Trying to fake a blitz. Just not very disciplined on that play. Robichaud in the gun. Here's a snap, fakes it to Winslow, throws it out here in the flat. It's complete to Trosclair, and he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Trosclair. And Covenant cuts the lead to one. So an eight-yard touchdown catch by Trosclair. And it's 20 to 21, 9.54 to go here in the ball game. And a will try to point out that he's two for two. Kick is up, almost blocked, but he gets it through. Flying in there was Fontenot. He had it timed. And we're tied at 21, and now we got an injured player, and or a lineman for Covenant. And let's see. Uh, I don't. I didn't see anything. And five, nine fifty-four to go here, and back right back where we started. Twenty-one, twenty-one, and. Let's see who that drive took the most out of. Central Catholic or Covenant, because all these guys pretty much go both ways. There you go. Now the coach is going to not like that one of his players is hurt. And he'll go over to the officials. and So we'll see what happens on this drive for the Eagles. Tell you what, though, it's the most fight I've seen in two teams in a long time, Howard and high school football. It's been an absolute battle, and that's the kind you like to see. So if the Eagles can go another one of those six-and-a-half-minute drives. So let's see now. So 
still down and Looks like the young man's parents have come out there. Looks like they may be getting an inflatable cast for his arm. I can't. I got field glasses here. We're just speculating. I don't want to do that. They got him sitting up. That is number 69. Evan Duplantis, a junior. Can't tell they're trying to hold his arm up, his shoulder. They're putting something on his right arm. So that'll stop the momentum for sure as we're tied at 21 and 10 is that young man. The good thing is he's on or he's sitting up. Well, let's see, they'll try to get him up to his feet. They do. Looks like he got a cast kind of on his right arm. So I think they'll take him an ambulance to the hospital probably to get that checked out. It's good news he's walking off and so we're going to have a kickoff, and you can bet the officials are getting together right now and saying, okay, we need to control this thing. So if I'm a coach, I'm saying, look, on each side, guys, don't do something stupid and cost us the chance to win this ball game. You want to play hard, but don't play after the whistle. Don't taunt them. Don't do nothing. Just play the game. 9.54 to go. A bear will kick it. Let's see if he'll go back to that sky kick. He did kick it to Baker last time. Short kick to one of the up men. He'll get it and fall down on it. That's Duval. And that'll be at the 40. Four yard line, so that'd be good starting field position. It looked like A Bear was trying to maybe kick it off of Duval and get on it for an onside kick, but Duval on that front line made a nice grab. And here come the Eagle offense. One thing it did do, it allowed both teams to kind of catch your breath a little bit. It was running back and forth, and now let's see what the Eagles can do. Here's Case. He gives it off to Fontenot. Fontenot loses the football. It's on the ground. I think Covenant has it. They pulled it out of the hands of Fontenot. And a big turnover. Looks like Winslow might have came up with the loose football. And Covenant hadn't seen any turnovers up to this point. First one is a big one. Eagles give it back at their own 44 to Covenant. Looks like Lolly will be back in to run the football. Winslow trying to jog it off. It looks like he might have cramps as well. They'll give it to Lolly. He cuts it inside. He has a big hole. Lolly's still on his feet. He's taken down by Pickens.
First and 10 at the Eagle 33. 10-yard gain. With 52, checks in that linebacker, Brian Wiggins. Lolly on the left side. Duplantis, he gets the call. Turns it inside. Eagles were there, but Wiggins makes the stop. But, boy, ain't nobody attacking the football at the point of attack. As he just kind of was able to cut inside, picked up about six. That's too many. Clock running 8.50 here in the ball game. Tied at 21. Covenant at the Eagle 26-yard line. Again, the give to Lolly. Up the middle, he's got the clear. Lolly is going to take it all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. Well, Covenant makes the turnover hurt. As they turn it to a touchdown, and they have the lead now, 27-21. And now we'll have the extra point upcoming. Eight twenty-three to go. Covering it back out on top. This one is blocked. This PAT is blocked by Fontenot. And that could be big at 826. 2721. Covenant ahead by six. Did you know the Tex Action Clinic offers telemed services? You can visit with any of our internal medicine doctors or our mental health providers right from the comfort of your own home. Just call 985-384-2371 and tell the person answering the phone that you are interested in registering for Tesh Action Clinic's Telemed program. And for all your personal injuries, call the law firm that will understand your situation. Ramsey, Scow, Striva, and Bourgeois. Reputation, respect, and results. Call 985-395-9247. Next week, it'll be a Thursday night kickoff over at Tiger Stadium. Jennerett and Central Catholic join us on KBZE for that one. Still 828 to go in this one. Eagles trailing it 27-21. A barrel kick it. A bear kicks it deep this time, and he'll kick it into the end zone. The Eagles will have it at the 20-yard line. The Eagles will come back out on offense. Fontenot in motion. Case. Hands off to Baker. He's hit in the backfield. And Baker cut down. He'll lose a yard. Baker slow to get up. So, PA man says a one yard gain. That's a one yard loss. And now we have a official timeout. Look like Baker. It's not a it's not a whole timeout. Baker's going out limping. He got hit and kind of came up holding his uh, let's say midsection for 
a better use of it. He's going straight underneath the tunnel because he's hurting. So Baker goes out. Eagles have it second down and 11. Two receivers right, two left. Fontenot in the backfield. Case looks left, steps up. He'll take off with it. Case still on his feet. And Case goes down. That's a late hit. Boy, Trosclair got there late. No call. But Case gets forward for a good gain, and now it's third down and two. Nine-yard pickup for Case. Fontenot in the backfield. Case with a long count. He'll give it. No, he'll keep it. Case keeps it to the outside. He'll have the first down and more. And he's hit right there on the sideline. I don't know if he was out of bounds, but boy. He was hit way late. And now I guess we'll have a timeout for an injury. The guy that actually hit Benjamin out of bounds is the one shaking up, number seven, Tristan Rogers. Let's see if it's a full timeout. They'll just wait for him to get off the field. 6.53 to go. Case did get the first down. Ball out to Eagle 39. That time they were all over Fontenot on short yardage, and Case kept it and got to the outside. Case will give it to Fontenot. He's trying to get outside. He cuts it back. Fontenot still on his feet. Fontenot powers up over the 46 to about the 47. Gain of seven by Fontenot. We see Baker coming back from underneath the stands. Not sure if he would be able to come back in as he's limping. A second down, 6.20, clock running. Eagles trail it by six. Case will turn, give it to Fontenot. Fontenot over midfield in the Lion territory. To about the 48. And that's a first down. And now we have a hydration timeout at 558. Of course, that's all over the state. As they hot, they'll keep them in there. And they'll try to make sure they stay hydrated while we got this opportunity. Let's see if we can get you some finals, maybe, from around the state. Not sure if they got anything updated. As we'll scroll through for you. Still Central Lafouche on top of Franklin, 14 to 6. East St. John leads Thibodeau 28 to 7. Destrahan leads Honville 40 to 11. And now they're back out on the field, so quick hydration timeout. First and 10. Ball at the Covenant 48. Case will turn. He'll give it to Fontenot. To the right side. Fontenot breaks the tackle. And he's out of bounds at about the 40. Picks up eight more. And 
And it'll be at the line, 40. And again, Eagles taking off a lot of time. 5.50 left in the ball game. Eagles trail it by six. Tight formation. Another give to Fontenot. This time they got him in the backfield. Third down. Well, you tell Fontenot about four straight carries, and I think the Eagles have to put this one in the air. Duval is now at the wingback spot. Case gives it to Fontenot. Fontenot pulls tacklers for the first down. Good hard run by Tate Fontenot. And he gets it to the 37. We work our way under five minutes to go here in the game. Impressive drive by the Eagles to start it back at their 20 after Abair kicked it out of the end zone. Case gets the handoff. Fontenot. Fontenot breaking tackles. Pulls Robichaud on his back to about the 33. That's a good five-yard pickup. Duval will go out. They'll come in with Ramagas, a receiver. So four receivers in the formation. Again, though, tight. And now it looks like timeout, Central Catholic. I think what happens, Coach Grogan saw that Fontenot was getting tired and Baker not ready to come back in the game yet, so Fontenot had to stay in. They want to give him a little breather maybe, a little extra time. So if we can get any other finals for you around the parish or still remaining Catholic in ERAF 14 apiece. South Lafouche has knocked off South Terrebonne 20 to 17. Lutcher beats Vanderbilt 18 to nothing. Teams back out. Morgan City leads Ellender 27 to nothing in the fourth quarter. Tigers on their way to a 3 and 1 start and a 1 and 0 in district. Second down and we'll call it 6. Case puts Ramagas in motion. He gets it on the sweep. Ramagas trying to get to the edge. He cuts it inside. Ramagas inside the 20 to about the 18. Finally gave it to somebody else. They were looking for Fontenot up the middle, and Ramagas got to the corner. I tell you what, he showed some quicks. 3.50 clock running. First and 10 Eagles at the 17. Fontenot behind Case. He'll turn. He'll give it to him. The stretch sweep. Fontenot cuts it inside. He's taken down at the line of scrimmage. You know, Fontenot wants to make up for that fumble. Touchdown, an extra point, and the Eagles have the lead. Second down and 10. Ramagas goes out. Duval comes in. There's Case. Long count. Fakes the final. has got a man over the middle. Complete to Hollins. Touchdown. Eagles. Hollins slipped him away. Got the fake. Everybody went for Fontenot and Hollins from the slot down the middle. Touchdown, and the Eagles 
have tied it up at 27 apiece with 2.44 to go. Lucas Pickens in trying to the point out to try to give the Eagles the lead. Garcia will snap it. Rock will put it down. Good snap, good hole. Kick is blocked. Well, both teams have blocked extra points. And it's 27-27 with 2.44 to go. Could we be headed for overtime? What does Pickens do? We'll see it all right here. The sky kick has been effective. I think I would do that same sky kick to the 30. I wouldn't give it to Streens back there. I know he's suffering with cramps, but I don't think I'd give him a shot. I'm sure they're discussing what they want to do. So both teams scored and both teams get extra points blocked. And now back deep it's Robichaux and Streams, but I don't think they get a chance to even touch it. Here we go, 244 to go. Pickens. High kick, and it'll go to Robichaux. He lets it go. It's rolling around back there. He drops it again. He picks it up. He's hit. Leapery comes down and nails him at the 11-yard line. Robichaux dropped it, picked it up, dropped it again. When he hit it up, Jack Leapery just cleaned his clock at the 10. And so now let's see how aggressive Governor Christian does here. Two forty-two. Covenant has it at the eleven. Well, we gave them a turnover. Let's see if we can get a turnover right here. Last drive, they really ran the ball down the field. Not sure you got enough time to do that from here. They'll spread them out. Winslow in the backfield. Robichaux will run it. Robichaux on his feet heads to the outside. Flag down on a holding call. That's going to be Streams holding back at the 20, so that's going to negate a big gain. Holding against Covenant. I think there was no doubt Streams had a hold of Hollins right there where Robichaux was going by him, so there's nothing you can do. And, again, they plead their case, all of them, and Coach will plead his case, and, Either way, it'll be back to the 6. So it was half the distance from the 12, so now it'll be first and 16. And, boy, 233, and now the Eagles can make something happen here. They can get the ball back in pretty good field position. Covenant breaks the huddle, but the officials are still trying to sort this out. I think they got it straight now. And we're set to go. Winslow back in the backfield with Robichaux. 
Robichaux back to pass. Here come the rush. They throw it out there. Oh, almost intercepted. Rock was looking to make a hit. Had he turned his head up, he might have intercepted it. Eagles were on Robichaux in a hurry, and Rock holding his helmet because he knows he was coming up. He looked at Winslow the whole time, and had he turned around, I think he could have intercepted it. Either way, second down, 16, 223, clock stopped with the incompletion. Robichaux gets the play. And now it's Lolly in the backfield. Robichaux back, looks off to the right, throws it. Almost intercepted. Ramagas breaking on the ball, knocked it away. Basco was out there. Long out route to the sideline. Nicely played by Ramagas. Now third down and 16. And again, no clock runs off. No time runs off the clock. It's 2.18 to go. If you're covering it right here, I think what you got to do, you got to run the football, let some clock run, or make the Eagles use a timeout. I'm not sure how many timeouts the Eagles have left, but Stream is limping bad. He's still got the cramps. Hollins is locked up on him. Here is the give to Lolly right side. He cuts it back in, but the Eagles will corral him, take him down, and it'll be fourth down, and now the Eagles want the timeout. There it is. They'll save some of the seconds. 2.10 left when they get the timeout. And it'll be fourth down. Abair showing a good leg, but again, we keep talking about Fontenot, his ability to run back those punts. They should get great field position. He'll be kicking out of his end zone. Looking at Pickens in the pregame. Anywhere 25 to 30, I think he has an opportunity. Pass, you got to get it inside. I would say you at least got to get it inside the 15, maybe down to about the 10 to give him a legit shot. Can't go offside. You can't rough the kicker. Eagles in this spot before have kind of set up a return. Fontenot will stand at his 50. Abra will be out of his end zone. Here's the snap, the kick. Abra gets it off, end over end. Fontenot will let it hit. He'll pick it up at his own 44. Heads back up the field. Fontenot reverses field. Fontenot still on his feet. Fontenot knocked out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. Big time return by Fontenot. And again, they want penalties on every play. And the Eagles will have it at their own 32 with 154 to go. Next, check it to 32. So here come the Eagles. Case. Inside give. Fontenot, he's going to be wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. Clock will run. 144. Eagles can't use a lot of time. You don't have to hurry, but in this spot, what you want to do is you either want a chance to win it or you go to overtime. And now they'll get Duval out the game. Ramagos back in. Play clock down to 16. Clock running, 121. Ramagos on the wing. Puts him in motion. Case will give it to him. Ramagos trying to get to the edge. Not going to do it. 
Covenant Christian is there, and they knock him out of bounds. Clock will stop with 101. Ball at the 35, so now it'll be about third and 13. Both teams really don't want to throw the football, but you're going to have to right here if you're the Eagles. And the Eagles will probably just stay there now. They're not going to get this play off, I don't think. They would have to really hurry. And they won't. They'll take the timeout. 101 to go. Timeout on the field. We'd like to thank all our sponsors tonight. St. Mary Parish Assessor Jared Lohm and the crew at Advita Paint and Supply. Always a great sponsor of high school sports here on KBZE. St. Mary Sheriff Chief Deputy Gary Driscoll, candidate for St. Mary Parish Sheriff. Angelina Swords Bricotta, number 106. The next St. Mary Parish Councilman at Large for District 8. Thibodeau Regional Health System. A.J. Doman Chevrolet, A.J. Doman Chrysler. The law firm of Ramsey, Skiles, and Striva. Bo LaGrange, candidate for State Senate. District 21 on October 14th, vote number 56, Bola Grains for State Senate. Taco Bell in Morgan City and Bayou Vista, Bayou Bend Health System, Tesh Action Clinic in Morgan City and Pierpart. The committee to elect Robert Allen as the next senator for District 21 and the committee to re-elect State Representative Vinnie St. Blanc, number 81, representing Stevensville and Morgan City. A us the Eagles draw up here on third down and 13 from the Covenant 35. Two receivers split to the right, one to the left. Fontenot will go to the wing. Case back to pass. Here comes the rush. Case looking downfield, fires it over the middle, and that's going to be intercepted. Ball on the ground, and they'll jump back on it. Case threw it back to the middle of the field, and it was intercepted with 49 seconds left. And Covenant will have it back. And they'll have it at their own 17-yard line. Case just couldn't get enough on it. (laughs) Little man with the flag. (laughs) Rolling it down the sideline for Covenant. He got the line flag. He said, give me it. I'll take it. It looked like he's about eight. He handled it, though. Here come the Lions. They got it back at their 16 with 49 seconds left. They got five receivers in the formation. Here's Robichaux. Calls for the football. Looking. Fires out and knocked down again by Willis. I tell you what, Willis has got his hand on a few balls tonight. He knocked that one down. Second down. Covenant gets the play in. Got to feel like they were just going to hand off eventually and just want to get to overtime. They throw one of these out routes. The Eagles might pick it off. They back the pass again. Throws it quickly. Complete. Tries to cut it up field, but Hollins has him wrapped up. Throws him back. That's Bear. I don't think either team wants to stop it now with 28 clock running. Covenant doesn't have to run another play. I don't think the Eagles are going to stop it. And it looks like we're headed for overtime. He'll go back out there with nine seconds, but let's see what they do. 
and they don't get the playoff, and that's it. We play four quarters, and we finish just the way we started, tied. It's 27-27. We will play overtime. And we'll explain the overtime rules to you. So each team will have the ball at the 10. So they'll flip the coin. The winner will have the choice to have the ball first or go on defense. The other team will go pick what side they want to go to. Let's see what they're going to do. Well, it's probably fitting that this game comes to overtime. It has been a hard-fought game. Usually don't hadn't seen one of these in a long time. Good to see. Aggressiveness. Both teams playing hard. They'll bring the captains back out. They'll flip them. So let's see if we can See what happens on the flip. Up in the air. It looks like Covenant may have won the toss. And it looks like they want the ball. So, hey, a lot of times you'll see people go on defense first. That way you know. What you got to do after. But Covenant wants the ball, so they will have it first. They'll put it at the 10-yard line. You get four downs to either get it in the end zone or turn it over, kick a field goal. We'll see what happens here. So even if Covenant the scores, the Eagles will have their shot to tie it or maybe win it. Then the Eagles can take it, and a field goal or a touchdown wins it. Robichaux in the shotgun. Puts a man in motion. That's Trost Claire. Robichaux keeps it up the middle. Robichaux down to about the five. So second down and goal from the five. Winslow comes out, Lolly goes in. I just don't think that they're going to pass it here. I just, I keep one on one coverage and I just squeeze everybody in and my sights would be set on number three right here. 
Robichaux keeps it, trying to get to the corner. And he gets there. Robichaux. Touchdown. So Robichaux breaks the plane and gets the touchdown. And now they'll have an extra point opportunity. And then the Eagles will get the football. Thirty-three twenty-seven. Abear will try to kick the extra point. Last one was blocked. Robichaux will put it down. Low snap. The kick is up. That's no good. He missed it. Missed it to the right. So Abab misses the point after, and now the Eagles with a touchdown and extra point wins it. They put an extra blocker. They put Trosclair on the left side so they can stop Fontenot. And with that, he pushed it to the right. So you know he was probably thinking Fontenot blocked the last one. But now the Eagles have got to get this thing in the end zone. Four chances. Field goal doesn't help you. Got to score. Duval stays on the wing. Baker has not got back in the game. Fontenot in the backfield. Case keeps it. Oh, that's Fontenot, excuse me, on the Wildcat. He dives to the five. They start the possession with Fontenot at quarterback. He faked it to Ramagas, who was in the backfield. That looked like that looked like 17. Gavin Ramagas. And Fontenot again will line up in the quarterback spot. Timeout, Covenant Christian. Well, they're going to change things up. They've seen the Wildcat now, and they want to talk about it. The Eagles are split, splitting out that defense. they putting two receivers to one side, and it's really opening up the hole for Fontenot. So the Eagles have it second down and goal from the five. So, Coach... Grogan over there on that side, over here. You got Coach Turner, and they're going back and forth trying to figure out what they're going to do. Covenant had it first in overtime. They scored and missed the point after. And now the Eagles with a chance, second and goal from the five. Case. Case comes back in at quarterback. Duval goes out, Ramagas. Landon Ramagas comes in. Case turns. Get to Fontenot. Fontenot right side. Cuts it back. He's hit and knocked back. Third down at the six. Two downs for the Eagles, and I'm not sure they can hand it off now. I think you got to throw it. Ball at the seven. Here's Case. 
Fakes the handoff. Throws it over the middle to Hollins. Incomplete as he was hit. Had he had another second, he might have got the throw off. Hollins down the end zone. Hollins on that slant route that he caught the touchdown on, and if Case would have had just a little more time, I think he'd have had him. But the blitz got to him. And now it's fourth down. Eagles have got to score, and your, one of your top weapons is sitting out there, cramps in both legs. Now Hollins is up. Not sure he'll be available for this play. He can come in because it's a timeout, but. So here we go. Here's your ball game. And Coach Grogan wants another timeout. They were confused a little bit. So another timeout. Well, Mr. Casta and I was looking for a quick game. We had not got one in about two and a half years, it seems like. No rain tonight. No power outages, no lightning delays, but now we got overtime, and we're working on three hours. So, here we go. Eagle had decided what they were going to do. Here's Case. Calls for the ball. Rolls. Here comes the brush. Case. Looking up. Case takes off. Case. Body end zone. Dives. Did he get there? Yes. Touchdown. Case takes it himself. Gets it in the end zone. He scores the touchdown. And now the Eagles with a chance for the extra point to win it. Nick. Excuse me, Benjamin Case took off. I tell you what, that was the hardest run I've seen Case run. He was hit at about the three, and he just would not be denied as he gets into the end zone. And now, timeout on the field. And they'll go talk about it wasn't in, and here we go. Same old thing. Tell you what. Governor Christian spent more time talking to the officials than he did to talking to his own team. I don't mind saying that because every every call, I mean, look, you got to go down and try to get stop the extra point. Case just bowled over the tackler. And now Lucas Pickens has a chance to send the Eagles home with a victory. However, last sector point was blocked. So the Eagles have got to keep him out of there and give Pickens a chance. Rock to put it down. Snap to hold. The kick is up. And it's good. Pickens drills it through. And the Eagles win it in overtime, 34-33. A big win by the Eagles in overtime. 
as they come out on top tonight in a hard-fought game. And the Eagles... Go to one and zero in district, two and two overall. And boy, I tell you what, this is a game that both teams battled as hard as you could. How about Benjamin Case at the end, putting his head down? And folks, he became a football player tonight. I'm telling you, heck of an ending, heck of a game. Eagles, thirty four. Lions, 33. That's going to wrap up our coverage. I'd like to thank you for listening. Bringing this game to you tonight. Eagles win it. And they go 1-0 and in district. For Mr. Caste, this is Seth Thomas. Hoping you have a great weekend. Listen tomorrow. LSU football right here on KBZE. Good night, everybody.